and I'm like, if you need to, phone me. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's not coming up. Hello, hello. My good channels or videos. Um, where my little face is. Yeah. And then does it come up? Your channel? Yeah. 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 Well, I don't know. I'll just share it while I'm waiting for people to join. Oh, you remember me? Uh, Manfred Fails says hello. Hello, Manfred. And so, before I go. That's in the middle. Yeah. Heard it a few hours ago. Okay, so in this video, guys, I'm going to show you lots of different ways to use waterway gels. Oh, as you can see, I love waterway gels because I've done lots of nails using waterway gels. Okay, so I've already put a base layer on my tips, just, just a normal base coat, nothing difficult just normal base coat just to prep them ready so let's just move that back a bit so in perfect nails you have four choices black blue red and burgundy pink but when i've showed you all four of these colors i'm also going to show you how you can use their lac gels to do this as well so you will need the waterway base gel this is white. They do have a clear, which I've tried, but the white definitely gives a better waterway finish. So I'm sticking with white. Manfred Nails says beautiful. I'm not sure if they're talking about my singing or <laughs> waterway. Be your singing love. That's what I thought. So you don't need a thick coat, just a nice thin coat, but you can see how pigmented that waterway white is. Very pigmented, that's one coat and yeah, perfect. So while that is still wet, so no curing, I'm gonna go in with my first waterway gel, which is number one, which is black. And we're gonna go for like a little um, skate skin print on this first one. So as soon as you place that colour in, you'll see it starts to disperse. And this is how easy this technique is. I'm literally using my detailer brush on a side angle to just pop my little dots in very very easy and the product does that dispersing for you so you don't need to stress very easy you make it look easy no honestly you could do this Sorry, I want to to do. it is very easy waterway is very easy you've just got to have that sort of bit of design in your head and in this, this particular design is the easiest you could possibly do because it's just dotting. And the more you leave it, the more it's going to disperse. So don't rush to get it into your lamp. Give it that time. Manfred says, that is so awesome. It is, it's very easy. But gives a fantastic effect. I suppose you could do a flower as well, couldn't you? Yeah, I'll be doing some flowers in a bit. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Spoil the surprise a little bit. Well, no, because I've already showed them my display tip, so. All right. Yeah. Did you miss that bit, love? Yeah, I'll pay attention, honestly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, 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 I went fiddling with things. Okay, I'm going to Okay. 
So I'm going to just let that disperse a little bit more before I put it into the lamp. So I'm not going to rush it. You can even give it a little bit of a vibration movement. That speeds it up a little bit. You can see it starts to spread and disperse out a bit. Obviously, just do that to the client's finger. You wouldn't touch the gel. And then that can go... Did, did, did you just flip me? <laughs> ...into the lamp. If you see your waterway gel just shrinking back a little bit, just pull that back just before it goes into the lamp. Depends how much time you've touched to do your design. If you're really fast, and obviously I'm going a little bit slower just so I can demo to you, then you don't need to do this. Okay, into the lamp. Into the lamp you'll go, child. 60 second cure for that white, because obviously it's very pigmented. So you definitely need 60 second cure on that. Okay, the next one is this gorgeous blue. And I'm going to do my favourite, which is roses. Always. So waterway gel on first. Again, nice thin layer. Doesn't need to be applied thickly or anything because it is a very good coverage. Can you do like a tie-dye t-shirt effect as well? You can, yeah. Okay, so roses with this gorgeous blue. So I'm going to start with my main focus, so my just slightly off-centre rose. And just like doing your normal roses, so your centre of your petal is thicker and then you pull out to the sides to make that petal thinner at the sides. Movement, don't make it too perfect. You actually want wiggly movement. You don't want these perfect sort of smiles that would look strange. Because roses aren't perfect. No, they're, they're not. Cool. Uh, Nothing in nature is. Thing. So nice with big love heart. Thank you. And you can see it's starting to disperse. The more you let it disperse, the thinner the white lines in your rose will be, so don't rush it, give it that time. And as blue is the colour of the year for 2020, this is a good choice. Uh, Manfred says that flower turned out so beautiful. Yeah, very easy, very, very easy. Because you don't have to be neat and perfect. So it's great for salon work because you can be quite fast and get something that looks like you've spent hours on it when you haven't. And it is, you know, it's still dispersing now. That's why you would do your main focus one first so that that gets sort of the most time to spread and disperse out. Okay, so... 
pearl brown, so it's gorgeous flowers, love them. Thank you. So again, just going to give that bottom flower a little bit of time to disperse and then I'll get it into the lamp. First one is now fully cured, so let's just give it a quick top coat. I'm just going to turn my lamp so it's not curing my gel. And obviously, I'm doing these first few just in the one colours, just so that you can see the colours, but you can do a mix of them. So just using Speed and Shine as my top coat on that first one. Okay, so the next colour is this gorgeous bright red. So this is number three. So base gel first, waterway base gel first. Thin layer doesn't need to be thick. And we're going to do a different type of flower this time. So this time we're going to do, just give that a little mix. Putting a bead down and then bringing it to a point. Putting a bead down, bring it to a point. You can still go back in and make it a bit more pointy if you want to, but it is going to disperse. Yeah. Is there a delay to you watching like? Yeah. Alright. Only like 20, 30 seconds. Maybe not that. 15, 20 seconds. Okay. I'm going to let that one disperse a bit before it goes into the lamp. And I'm going to show you after as well how you can add some more detail to these. If you want to. If you've got time with that client. That one's going in, and we'll take the second one out for its top coat. So just top coating the blue roses now. Again, using Perfect Nail Speed and Shine. I like the thickness of Speed and Shine. If you've got any little flaws in your nails, um, it's a nice thickness that it will just cover them, which is great. Okay, so the last one is this gorgeous sort of deep pink burgundy colour. Waterway base. So I'll keep it nice and thin. And this time we're just going to do some basic swirls.
basic yet effective. I think any pattern that you do with this technique is effective because it's just so simple, but it looks like you've spent so long doing it. And this is tie-dye effect? No. Tie -dye effect. It's similar, but no, you'd, you'd use a few different colours for tie-dye. So can you see how that top one's lovely I'm dispersing now? So I'm just filling in the sides now with just these sort of dab and pull lines. You don't have to, you could just stick with the swirls. Again, just going to let that disperse a little bit and then I'll pop it into the lamp. I know it's not, mm. but it reminds me of the paisley pattern. Yes, yeah, I can see where you're coming from. And I associate paisley with that sort of colour as well. Mm. So I used to have a shirt like that. Loved it. Okay, that one can go into the lamp and we can top coat the red one. <laughs> tell her everybody, tell her she's got to let me have a paisley shirt. <laughs> You're only 41, love, not 81. You don't have to be 81 to wear a cool, trendy, awesome looking paisley shirt, Gemma. That's ageist. That's all sort of come on. So, let's grab these first two out. <laughs> Someone supporting you. Manfred says at that age you can wear whatever you want. Is that at 90 or 41? Because I think at 41, I should be allowed to wear what I want. Okay, I'm just going to top coat that last one. Okay, so this one, we're going to just add a little bit more detail to, just so that you can see. Oops. So for that, I'm going to use the Perfect Nails, I've lost it, Deluxe Gel, which is a tack-free uh, art gel, basically. And this goes on to a finished nail. So this is a fully cured nail. There's no stickiness to this or anything. And we can do Wait, some... Why is it a finished nail? Why is it not a Swiss nail or a French nail? <laughs> I wondered what you meant then. We can do some added detail. So we can start to put some extra lines. Again, lots of movement. Don't keep them all 
straight and perfect. They look nice with movement. Think about a flower in nature. It's not perfect. It is natural. Cabrera say beautiful. You pronounce that name lovely then. Well then, might have sounded beautiful, but that might not be a name. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded lovely. Beautiful name. Mm. Said it correctly, which I may not have. What a difference just adding those little extra lines in makes. Hashtag Cabrera, Cabrera, Cabrera. Please let me know, Esther. So when this goes into the lamp and it comes out, it's attack free. So you get like a very slight 3D effect to it, but and I mean slight, because it's very uh, thin. So it's not like it's going to be really raised, but you will have a slight 3D to it. Or you can put it on and then top coat it so that you don't get that raised 3D. You know, some clients just like a really smooth nail. They don't like to be able to feel anything. Uh, depends on your clients. Looks awesome. Yeah, pretty pretty. So Let's pretty. take. Pretty. Pretty. Can't see because I've turned my lamp to the side. There we are. So that was that one. I'm going to pop some crystals on that one as well, but just before it's finished. Okay, so so this last one. Um, I want to show you the, the tie dye effect. <laughs> I want to show you that you don't just have to use waterway gels. Let me just find my little silicone pad, perfect nail silicone pad. So I picked up just a couple of different um, lac gels, perfect nails lac gels, in different colours to show you. Now you can still do waterway with lac gels. The difference is the pigmentation is just not as wow. So I personally like to still incorporate some of the colours that we've got, the waterway colours that we've got, and then have these colours as like extra, if that makes sense, as like an addition. So some nice bright neon ones there. Gorgeous peachy one. So these are all available in our lap gel collections. Um, you can try with other gels, but basically they have to be thin and pigmented. So if your gel is quite a thick gel, it's not going to work very well. Uh, you want thin and pigmented, which the lac gels definitely are. It's a very pretty palette, my dear. Isn't it? Yes. And then I think I'll use a bit of the burgundy again, because that's my, one of my favourites. Um, so this one, I can get out. We're going to just add a couple of crystals too, so I'll just do that before I move on. So you want your Perfect Nails glue gel. Perfect Nails Glue Gel. Tiny, tiny amounts. You really don't need a lot when you're adding crystals. Right. They don't need a lot to stick. Tiny amounts is enough. Um, don't know what my katana is. Have a look. Katana, katana. Can you see one? Oh, I can see one. Thank you. Um, what colour crystal should we go on? I think we'll go bright red. No, actually, let's go orange because orange will show up nicely. 
Well, your crystals just finish it off, really, don't they? Stop being annoying. Sorry. Manfred failed, says Natalie Mugridge, if that's who's... Yes, that's I know Natalie. ...needs these. She's another YouTuber. Okay, so moving on to this one. Another waterway base layer first. Keep it nice and thin, don't apply too much. The other reason that we keep it thin as well is if you apply too much, um, because it's so pigmented, when it goes into the lamp to cure, you can sometimes get like little bubbles that pop up sort of through your work. So you want to keep it nice and thin. You don't need a lot. Okay. So this time I'm going to use a variety of different lat gels and then a little bit of my lovely burgundy colour number four. Pearl Brown says, is this similar to Blooming Gel? Yes. Obviously, every company has their own name for these sort of things. But yes, Blooming Gel, Charm Technique, I believe I've heard before. Um, well, there's all sorts. Wet on wet. <laughs> Don't be rude, Matthew. Nails by Sarah Birchett says hi. Hello, Sarah darling. Miguel Guevara has sent um, love heart eyes emojis. Thank you, thank you. So just popping some leaves on the bottom of this one. You see how much that pink has dispersed a lot lot more than any of the other colors so this is what i'm saying the lac gels definitely disperse a lot more than the waterway gels okay into the lamp and again we'll top coat that and we'll do a little bit of detail work on that one Red one should be finished. So there are your four colours. I'm not used to having long nails on again, especially not on just two nails. So there are your four colours. So you've got the black, that gorgeous royal blue, um, red, and then that beautiful burgundy pink. So there are your four waterway colours. But like I said, you can use lac gels, but they do disperse more. That's the only thing to remember. So, top coat on this and then I'll add a bit more extra detail. Uh, nails by Sarah says, ooh, pretty. I like how you don't just read it, you just, you don't go, ooh, pretty. You're like, ooh. You have to put that little extra bit in, don't you, love? Yes, darling. <laughs> when one is a actor, <laughs> we have to give it life, darling. Can't just be like, oh, pretty. Pretty. That's a bit pretty. But like the original one, the original snake skin one, you can do it in different colours. This is roses, but using normal lac gel, so you can see the difference between the pigmentation on those. Um, we've just done that. That's roses, but using all three of those lovely colours. Roses in black. 
This is a similar thing to what Matthew was talking about, the tie-dye. This one here. But basically you would draw the circles and then pull through rather than just draw lines with it and pull through. But oh, same, same thing. Same Drop thing. it. Drop it. Like the t-shirts you can get from market for two quid. That fall to pieces after a couple of washes. <laughs> you look good for a couple of washes. So just going in with that deluxe gel for a bit of detail on this one. Turn your client, don't hesitate to get that client's hand in a position that is easier for you to get the design that you want. Don't feel that you've got to work in one direction only. You don't. If you need to get them to turn their hand upside down, do it. But don't make them do like handstands <laughs> bouncing on their head just so you can get that nail looking right. Why not? They want their nails to look perfect. You have to pay the price for the look. Yeah. What is it? Beauty's pain or something like that. No idea. Never heard that saying again. You're making your own saying as well. Well, yeah. Do the look, can't you? Yorkshire thing. I don't make my own sounds. Either. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. All the time. I don't. Uh, Nails by Sarah says, I have this mental image of me literally arm wrestling my client <laughs> into position. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's all the positions that we get them in when we take a photo. Uh, shall I just steady on with it? Start the conversation. Could be doing a Look how different that looks with just that bit of detailing on. Finishes it, definitely finishes it. Into that to cure. So just to recap, it's the Waterway base gel that you need. Uh, fantastic base gel, really, really pigmented. Keep it nice and thin. You do not need a lot of this at all. Keep it nice and thin. And then you've got the waterway gels that come in the four different colours, black, blue, red and purple. So number one, two, three and four. Uh, waterway gel, perfect nails again. And the product that I'm using on top is the deluxe gel. We do not have this on our website yet. Uh, it's the first time that I used it while I was over in Budapest. Loved it. Definitely be getting it in for you guys. So keep your eye on that coming to the website soon. Uh, Pearl Brown says, all oh, looks stunning. Thanks for sharing. I need that white detail. Yes, it's gel. brilliant. Uh, glue gel as well, obviously for your crystals. They do not budge. When your client comes back three, four weeks later, you'll need an old pair of cuticle nippers to chop them up. The brush that I was using is actually the dual brush. So on one side, it's a one stroke brush. And on the other side, it's that tiny little detail brush. So uh, it's a pretty brush. It's a nice brush. I like it. So that's those nails done. So yeah, waterway, blooming gel, charm effect, wet on wet, whatever you want to call it. But Perfect Nails have called it waterway, which I quite like. It's better than wet on wet. Wet on wet. I know there's a few YouTube videos that are like wet on wet technique. I'm like, oh. No comment. Mm. Uh, Miguel Guevara says, Saludos desde Mexico. Hello, Mexico. Uh, Maybe. Hello from Mexico. Yeah. Hi. Hello, hello, Miguel in Mexico. And um, hello from sunny Doncaster mm. in South Yorkshire, England. But I think it looks quite nice with the neons and then with that added detail as well. So. Very nice. Again, I'll pop some links up to these products 
um, in the video and as per usual, do the whole liking, like, sharing, sharing and the notification, notification bell, bell somewhere ever that is. I don't know. I'm not good at that bit. Yeah, um, if there's any other videos that you want to see, guys, with any of the products that we sell at The Nail Team, don't hesitate to ask. Have a look at www.thenailteam.com forward slash shop. See if there's any products that you think that looks ace, but I don't know how to use it. Let me know and I will do a video for you. Promise? Yeah, definitely. Okay. You're a keeper. I know. I know. Thanks for watching, guys. Hasta luego. See you soon.